Hello there, uh, it's just me. Uh, I decided I might as well make a small little tutorial about uh, just making a small revolution XML just for one purpose, like uh, running mods and all that. You won't be able to like do much adding, but there are probably more advanced tutorials for that or something like that. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna create a Pokemon Battle Revolution XML just cause uh, probably be the easiest plus I've been working on it for a bit. First off, I've um, gotta make sure that you know the uh, region ID of, not the region ID but the game ID. The region doesn't really matter too much so Pokemon Battle Revolution. You should be able to find a, a few examples here. Oh, right. Uh, Pokemon Battle Revolution should be RPB. So we're on to the uh, writing of revolution. It should be this. You can always include the um, the XML header tag, which should have the. Uh, But that's completely optional, I think. At least for what we're doing. But I'm just going to include it anyways. Next up we have the uh, Wii Disk version, which should be version 1. And uh, you can choose to indent if you'd like. It just makes it look nicer. You don't have to, of course. But this next part should be important. Uh, the ID tag should be there. The game should be... Uh, the one we just l looked at before, which was RPB. You can always add the region tag if you'd like, if you want uh, to do anything with the other regions, but uh, for my sake, I'm just going to work on the North American stuff, which should be region type E. If you're a European or Australian using the PAL standard, you should use the P. If you're Japanese, J. And if you're Korean, use K. But uh, I don't think it would matter too much. So put a closing tag on this. Gotta add an options thing to it as well. Provided with a section name, which the name appears up on top of uh, Well, it appears on one of the corners well, not the corner, but the uh, small black tab uh, when it shows up in revolution if you've done it correctly, of course 
So I'm gonna put in uh, PPR mods. Have an option ID called uh, on, which is basically something that's going to be binary, meaning on, on or off in this case. And just give it a name, and it will appear below. <laughs> like, uh, Make sure you have a uh, a, ch a choice tag in there as well. choice you'll need a patch which should contain an ID which links to what uh, you want it to do whether it's adding or just uh, replacing stuff or even uh, if you have Ocarina just uh, use uh, codes but give it a relatively short name as longer names will they can't be uh, something you can forget them. Uh, make sure to close all the tags after. You can do this in Notepad or any other uh, text editor of choice, but uh, I just decided to use Gedit since I kind of like using it. And. Uh, for any more options you want to add, uh, you can always add another option below the op the closing option tag. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to have just one. And if you have uh, 12... If you have... Uh, 12 uh, at most you should be able to uh, create another section as it won't be able to fit too many on the screen after the options you should be able to add uh, your patch settings So we're going to do uh, patch ID equals mods. And now you should be able to do it at least something similar to a My Stuff folder in Mario Kart Wii where you could basically add anything in here. You got to make sure that it's named appropriately though. And you can check all the file names within Wii Explorer or if you have a copy of the ISO, which I do not recommend downloading. But you can always back it up, back it up if you like with something like Clean Rip or a USB uh, loader. And for this, uh, I'm just going to add a, a folder within the Windows, within my SD card that should uh, link to this. Uh, 
and I find it just easier to have an XML for individual games, unless, uh, no, I think that would be just fine. Especially since some, uh, some game files can have, uh, similar names for some to others in different games, but... This part's really important, as it means that uh, everything on the disc should be accessible through revolution to patch. And like all the others, you've got to patch it. The last uh, patch being the Wii disc, of course. Next up, we'll have to make sure that we, uh... Get it to run on the SD card. And make sure if... That if you're gonna run it on an SD card, you can save it anywhere, but... Make sure that if you are running it, have it under the, uh... Revolution folder, which should be under the root of your SD card. So I'm just going to nickname this uh, pbr.xml. Now let's save. Alright, uh, since I put the SD card into my Wii, we should now be able to test it out on Revolution. It may take a while for it to load. It looks like I got an error. But it's more of the their part for some reason. We'll just make sure to try it again. Alright, now it's loaded. Sometimes it has a tendency of doing that. I don't know exactly why. Alright, uh, here you can see the name of the game. Here's the section name that I gave it, the option name, and the choice name. I do not have anything else loaded on here, so you won't be able to see it. I don't even have uh, mods enabled for it. Well, any sort of uh, gecko codes that we should be able to launch. I put some custom music on it. Hopefully, it won't cut off or anything. <coughs> it works. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I hope I was of any assistance. I shall see you guys next time.